Howdy folks, I uh, hope you guys are doing well today. Uh, so this is going to be a, sorry, one second, a new devotional plan that I'm starting. It is a seven day plan. Uh, and it is titled anything, or sorry, anyone but me with uh, Ray Comfort off the Bible app U version. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, mini series. Uh, so today is day one. And uh, here's the devotional. Loving always ready when i do something nice for you uh sorry when i do something nice for an unsaved person i'm saying i love you but i have another motive too i desperately want to bring you to the cross so that you will escape hell that's my deepest desire our aim is love uh welling up for welling up from pure motives now the purpose of this commandment is love from a pure heart from a good conscience and from a uh, sincere faith. 1 Timothy 1 5. The Christian life establishes a pattern of good works, a lifestyle, or a lifestyle of doing good uh, that can be seen by the ungodly. In Acts 7, <coughs> we see Stephen loved his enemies. The religious leaders in this case, um, even though it cost him his life, when we deal with the religious, religious, those who, uh, those who world views uh, steeped in self righteousness, and rooted in adultery, we're all dealing with those uh, who would kill us while thinking we're doing uh, God a service. John sixteen two. The most uh, manipulative, manipulative opponent of God, or sorry, the most manipulative opponent to the gospel are often those who profess to speak God yet dis or disbelieve the Bible. Their form of godliness gives lip service only. The poison of the ap aspis, ASPS, is under the lips, Romans 3, verse 13. Essentially, we are stepping on rattlesnakes <clears throat> when we comfort the uh, self-righteous in love. Snakes can uh, turn, you, turn on you in seconds. As the religious leaders uh, uh, struck out at Stephen, Stephen with deadly force, love poured from his lips. And the stone Stephen, as he was calling on God and saying, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit then he knelt down and cried out with a loud voice lord do not uh charge them with this sin and when he had said this he fell asleep acts 7 verse 59 and 60. those who oppose you because love those who oppose you because we're commanded to love our enemies love them because it is a witness uh, that glorifies god and he knows in their midst may be a lone bystander <clears throat> then they cried out with a loud voice, stop their, stop their ears, and ran, ran at him with one accord. And they cast him out of the city and stoned him. And the wit witnesses laid down their clothes at the feet of a young man named Saul. Acts 7, 57 through 58. Stephen is witnessed to Saul by dying. Saul became Paul and wrote half the New Testament. You don't know who he is standing on the sidelines of your own testimonies. So I always witness boldly, even when the outcome is unknown. Loving an enemy is counterintuitive apart from the gospel. Ask God to shape your understanding of love through knowledge of his word. Um, Isaiah um, 52 verse 7. How beautiful, uh, how beautiful on the mountains are the feet of those who bring good news, who proclaim peace, who bring good tidings, who, who proclaim salvation, who's, who say to Zion, your God reigns. 1 Corinthians 13, uh, verse 3 says, If I give all I possess to the poor, and give over my body to uh, hardship that I may boast, but uh, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Acts 7, uh, verse 54 through 60 says, When the members of the uh, Sanhedrin uh, heard this, they were uh, furious and ganished their teeth at him. But when Stephen, full of the Holy Spirit, looked up to heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of uh, God, look, he said, I see heaven open and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. Verse 57. At this, they uh, covered their ears and yelled at the top of their voices. They all rushed him, uh, dragged him out of the city, and began to stone him. Meanwhile, the witnesses laid their coats at the feet of the young man named Saul. 59. While they were stoning him, Stephen prayed, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he fell on his knees and cried out, Lord, do not hold this sin against him. When he had said this, he had fallen asleep. 
So I hope uh, today's devotion in the few verses I read uh, encourage you. Uh, if you guys like this, please uh, check it out for yourselves. And uh, um, and I hope you guys look forward to the next uh, six days of uh, this devotional with me. Alrighty, I hope you guys uh, have a wonderful night and God bless.